a new way to help families in crisis. The FCC has now approved 988 as a nationwide number for the National Suicide Prevention and Mental Health Hotline. Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us more about this. Good morning Good to morning, you. I, I know that this is something that you have spoken very openly about how suicide has impacted your own family. What do you think this hotline is going to mean? Cecilia, I think this is historic for us as a country in mental health. It really represents a massive culture change, culture shift in recognizing that there are millions of people in this country who have mental health emergencies now. There are challenges ahead. We don't know fully how it will be executed and operationalized yet. There'll be wait times, rollovers, regional centers. It is not operational yet. That might take over a year. But again, this is a huge step and really brings this issue to the forefront. So we always have to talk about how to help uh, when we talk about an issue like this. If someone is resistant, what do we do? Well, I think that it's important for everyone to know that right now there are 700 crisis lines operationally in this country, and those lines are not just for people who are struggling themselves. If you know someone is struggling and you don't know how to help them and you think it is that critical, uh, use those lines. Reassure that person they are not alone. They do not have to suffer in pain by themselves, that help is available. And look at this stat, 80 to 90 percent of depression really eventually responds well to treatment. We have to underscore if you or someone you know is struggling, there is help, 1-800-273-TALK, and there's a veterans crisis line as well. Never show that number enough. Okay, doctor, Absolutely. thank you.